Welcome to the tap room. Today is a cool day. I haven't released any videos yet on the channel, but I figured I'd just film this one, so this could be the first or the second. Today, I'm going to Dark Horse Brewing Company. This is located in Marshall, Michigan. It's only about an hour from Ann Arbor, which is where I am. And I always get excited when I go to brewing companies because so far, all the ones I've been to in Michigan have been absolutely great. Founders, Bells, Arcadia, Grizzly Peak, Arbor Brewing Company and many others. They've all been a good time. So I'm super excited to share my experience with you guys. That's what this is for. Hopefully I get some good footage because as most of you know, this is a new channel. I'm new to filming, so I'm ready to have some fun. Hope you guys enjoy. What's up guys, I did end up making it to Dark Horse Brewing Company. Honestly, when I first got here, I walked in and I thought like, I knew I was in the right place, but I was just in a restaurant. And then I come outside and man, this is awesome. I think this might be one of my favorite breweries that I've went to in terms of like outside vibe, because you guys can't tell, but I'm on a two story like landing area and I have this uh, raspberry ale, which I'll talk about in just a second. But check out this down area down here. It's really cool. So I'm on this platform up here. Um, they have a huge um, place to hang out under there. The music is pretty loud, but uh, raspberry ale. So I read about this beer online a little bit and basically um, it's a fruit beer, but as you guys can tell, it's not super, like if I were to compare it to like Founders Rubeus, which is a um, another raspberry ale, um, it doesn't have quite that color, you know, Dark Horse says they want the beer before the fruit. And what a lot of fruit beers do is oversaturate the fruit part and then leave you with questioning whether you're actually drinking a beer. And this one I can tell, you know, it's got that really dark gold haze. And um, aroma wise, I smell raspberry, but it's not overbearing. Like if I smelled this, I'd really have to try hard to tell that I was about to taste raspberry. But on taste, taste it's a hint of raspberry so when I first make contact with the beer I don't get overwhelmed with raspberry and this is a good thing I think because when I drink beer you know I still want to act like I'm drinking beer but essentially you know I get a small bitter um, first taste and then after the aftertaste kicks in I then taste the raspberries, and it's a very interesting beer. It's only 5%, um, it's one of their all year round beers, so you can get this whenever you want. But I think what fascinates me the most is the color of the beer is absolutely fantastic, but the taste could leave me drinking it like all day. So I finished the raspberry ale and now I'm onto the Crooked Tree IPA. 
I realized when I got that raspberry ale, I didn't do any shots, close-ups, or anything, so I apologize for that one. Um, but basically, I've had this beer before, just on tap somewhere else, but it's interesting because I think that beer definitely tastes better from the source. You know, it's brewed here, it's gotta be better, it's gotta be fresh, you know, it's not sitting for a while. Um, but something that stands out to me about this beer in particular is the smell. Now, usually when I smell IPAs and, you know, for tasting reasons, I am able to really pick out a lot of pine or a lot of citrus. And this one in particular is a lot of both. I definitely smell a lot of pine, I definitely smell a lot of citrus, and I can't pinpoint exactly what it is. However, on taste, just a whole different experience. You know, there's some beers where you can taste and smell, and they both are very similar. This one is not the case. So this one has a very, very grapefruity citrus aftertaste to me and it has that bitter IPA taste that we all love um, but something about this is just very interesting and I think this is an IPA that would be a great introductory IPA for someone who doesn't really drink IPAs because the citrus combined with the light pine aspect of it really mixes well and whatever they've done is super awesome I know this beer has won many awards. I know it's probably their best seller, if you want to call it that. Um, but generally, really happy with this one. Um, I'm not going to be trying a lot just because, you know, never drink and drive. I did drive here. Um, and you always want to play it safe, no matter what. So I think I'm actually going to do the tour. I just talked to the general store person about what it actually is. And it sounds pretty cool. It's about an hour long. You tour the brewery and then you go to a VIP room where you try exclusive beer. And I think that's just totally cool. So I'm going to do it and then we're gonna end in the general store, which is what I just filmed. So this should be an interesting time. I can't wait, might as well. I didn't think the tour was gonna to be that long, but let's do it. it for today guys i really hope you enjoyed my trip to dark horse brewing company i absolutely had a great time i had a few beers that i tasted and tried and then last minute i decided to do the tour it was only ten dollars and that brought you through all the facilities and then into the vip tap room which had six exclusive tastes that weren't available in the regular tap room and the one that stood out most to me was the Trace Blueberry Stout. It was absolutely amazing. I don't normally like stouts, but this one was just so tasty. There were multiple people that were like, you should bottle this. And it turns out they had bottled it, but I don't know where it is. I didn't see it at all in the store, but that's okay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time. I met a bunch of cool people on the tour. It was just awesome. It turned out to be an amazing day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, please drop a comment so I can discuss things with you guys. And of course, you can suggest things that you guys would like to see, maybe improvements in my filming that you guys would like to see, anything really. This is awesome having a two-way interaction with you through the comments. Please drop a subscribe, and I will see you guys next video. Uh -huh.